is up everyone? My name will be Josh, this is Strain Central, and today we are going to be doing a product review on the Admin OR. So what the Admin OR is, is simply a, just, wax vaporizer. So this, in my opinion, is one of the easiest to use wax vaporizers on the market today, and uh, for a reasonable price. It seems like a lot of the wax vapes on the market are just marked up to unreasonable prices, and then once you actually get them, there's just like a ridiculous learning curve trying to figure out exactly how to actually get the pen going, and how to get the hit that you're looking for. So, the fact that I, the thing I enjoy the most about this pen, should I say, is the fact that it's just super simple and easy to use. It doesn't have a replaceable battery, unfortunately, so it does just have an 1100 milliamp hour battery in it. Um, but that's something that's just attached to a 510 threaded coil. So it's just a 510 threaded portion of the top that you can literally basically plug any 510 threading into. And 510 threading is obviously like the most standard vape, uh, nicotine vape and weed vape attachment pretty much all the way across the board. Um, but it's like I said, just an 1100 milliamp hour battery and then you basically just attach a, a triple quartz coil atomizer onto it, which has like a little ceramic base in the middle. Uh, and then slap the mouthpiece on and start vaping. So it does have a silicon mouthpiece. I still am super in the middle about the whole borosilicate slash silicon thing. I do think technically, yes, uh, most silicone is going to be a little bit less flavorful than any kind of borosilicate. But when it comes to cleaning and when it comes to breaking, I honestly think I kind of like the silicone over borosilicate because it's pretty hard to break silicone and it's also way, 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 way easier. So. Also, for heat, that's the other thing, is most borosilicate does get kind of hot after you hit it for a while. Silicone diffuses heat a little bit better, and you don't actually, like, get hot lips when you're hitting the pen. So, I honestly think I am kind of leaning back towards the silicone side for mouthpieces, uh, but for the specific game of flavor, I think that's where borosilicate has its time and place. So, further building on to the whole uh, portability and, like, on-the-go thing of this, it does actually have this small little silicone uh, container on the bottom as well to store concentrates. So everything you need is like right here in the pen basically. The only kind of con I do have with this silicone thing is the fact that it's not silicone on this side. Uh, so on this side it's still like the metal, so if you're using shatter or anything that's going to kind of get like melty or sticky, there is a good possibility it's going to stick onto that. Wow, those boat horns or train horns are very loud. But uh, I also do uh, think you can just put like a small piece of parchment or a small little like cut out a piece of silicone and slap it over that to make that all kinds of handy. So, I mean, the, the overall idea of just having storage on the bottom of a pen, pretty genius in my opinion. Uh, and it just makes the on the go portability aspect of this even better. But I definitely hope you guys are smoking along, dab along, vape along, getting those cannabinoids nice and deep into your lungs because these are going to be deep into mine. I'm actually smoking today on some blueberry cheesecake wax. So. Cheers guys, let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice rip. So, airflow wise, uh, it does have a couple of different holes of airflow, so the airflow is really not that bad at all. Let's get one more hit though. a glob. It does have three different settings. Uh, it has red, orange, and green. The red setting is the low wattage, uh, the orange is the medium, and then the green is the high wattage. Um, but they didn't actually make it entirely variable temperature wise. They kind of specifically chose uh, set temperatures that they found worked best. So I kind of like that because it does keep things more consistent. But there's a lot of vape heads. Wow, these horns are loud today. There's a lot of vape heads that would obviously uh, rather have variable uh, temperature all the way across the board so they can control it. But the hit that it gave, especially on the high setting, as you guys show, that was, or as you guys saw, as I showed, were pretty decent. I don't think there is much more in here, but we can try to hit one more. Let's try to get a hit. Whoa, there was more of a hit than I expected in that actually. 
So when it comes to the actual unit itself, this pin is super, super, super sturdy. So since it is made with stainless, it's, it's not going to break on you. Like I was saying earlier, this is something you could literally just throw into a backpack, walk out the door with, and not think twice about. So uh, with the all like quartz coil thing, it does have a pretty like thick overall chamber atomizer itself. Uh, so you can probably probably pack about a half gram or so into the actual atomizer before you screw the top on and throw it into your backpack. So if you're looking for something that you can just like really quickly load up and not really think about, like yes, you can store extra concentrate, but you can probably take like five or six rips off of this thing, big rips off of this thing if you load this up well and just throw it in and walk out the door with it. So it is made specifically to be easy to use and to be easy to use on the go, which is exactly what you're looking for in most wax pens. And it's cheap, so it's less than 100 bucks, which for a lot of people is going to be a huge pro. So uh, I don't really have very many cons with it. I think I literally have like one or two cons. Uh, the one con is the non-replaceable battery. A lot of people are going to freak out about the fact that it doesn't have like an 18650 in it. Uh, and then also, it's not entirely variable. That's like the only other technical con I could come up with for it because it, it is something that some vape heads are not really going to like. They want to have like fully variable temperature, but... For the price range, for what it is, I'm, I'm nothing but impressed by this. So my overall rating for this is going to be a quite solid uh, 5.6 out of 7. So here's why it got the exact number and how it broke down, how it like rated on the, on the numbers scale. And here's where it lays on the overall strain central scale. But uh, really quickly guys, I'm going to go ahead and take myself one more gigantic rip of this and we're probably going to go ahead and call this an episode. So I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, product review for the OR and I definitely hope all you guys are having yourself an awesome day. Please, please, please get something done. I say it a lot, but it's because I'm trying to push the same thing. Be productive stoners. It's super easy to get high, get complacent, and not get shit done. Get high and get something done today. Break that stereotype and be an active part of breaking that. But uh, cheers guys, let's go ahead and take ourselves one more gigantic rip and uh, probably get this video edited. <laughs>